outside is nothing but a jungle covered in concrete. If you strip away man-made law, if you strip away feminism, if you strip away religion and all these ideologies, what you will have is an animal kingdom of the natural male and female behaviours. Animals in the wild act in their natural instinct for survival. Now because we as humans live in a society, no matter how many rules civilization set, people will always act in their natural instinct. If someone wants to hurt you, they will find a way to hurt you, regardless of any man-made rules. No matter how many times people are told murder is wrong, people will still commit murder. So it'd be very foolish on your end if you walk around town thinking that everyone is going to follow the rules until you end up being cornered and murdered. It may not happen all the time until it happens to you where you see yourself in a six o'clock news reporting a missing person that you came to love to watch. So keep your wits about and be prepared to handle anyone who has malicious intent towards you and your people. You must never be too comfortable letting your guard down, more so ignore your abilities to see dangers ahead, especially when you're out and about in a busy city, in an alleyway, in a forest, and even at your own home, anyone can break in if you don't secure your home. Human law won't stop someone from trying to kill you or burglar you or steal from you, even if you know the outcome for their actions will lead them to jail. This doesn't change the fact that you still need to defend yourself to prolong your life. To overcome this, you will need to improve two things in your life your physical attributes, and your communication skills. If your health isn't on par, then someone with a stronger physical attribute will use brute force against you, which is a threat to your survival. So by improving your physical health, it will decrease the chances of getting fucked up by someone else. There are many ways to do this. The most common answer is going to the gym and lifting some weights to gain bigger muscles. With the physical appearance of someone who is strong will deter anyone who wants to mess with you. It's only the puny people criminals will most likely go for. They're what is considered an easy target. If you look weak, at least be aware of your surroundings so you can run sooner or learn how to fight. Oh, but what if you're a woman? Do you expect women to be buffed up muscular like guys? No, if you're intelligent enough, you should know to never put yourself in a position where danger is high. This goes for any guys. If you choose to live in a bad neighborhood and see burglars trying to break into your house, even though you know the locks at your home is secure and unbreakable, would you still let these burglars try to break in? The answer is no. You would do something about it. You would fend them off and call the police. Or better, you would move out of the bad neighborhood and live somewhere safer. If you're smart enough, you should know to never put yourself in a situation where danger to your survival is high. Anyway, Improving your physical attribute is important for your survival because it will help you move and fight off enemies that poses danger. If you're physically not capable of getting into good shape or don't know how to fight, then the second best thing you can do is to find someone to align with who demonstrates high survival values because with their help, you will have a higher chance of survival. Walking down an alleyway at night by yourself is one thing, you're all alone, and a killer could be on the other side. But walking down the same alleyway with a group of guy friends is another thing. Which would you think has a higher chance of getting jumped? That's right, the single person walking down the alley. So by aligning yourself with people of high survival values, not only will you deter criminals from targeting you, but you will also feel safer knowing 
your trusted friends has your back. Now, I'm gonna expand on that. Just because you're with people of high survival values doesn't mean you should start acting stupid. If you're physically not capable of fighting someone, don't start picking fights thinking your friend beside you will help you. That's called being dumb, and I can assure you, your friend will lose a lot of respect for you if you start acting entitled for safety. Your friend will start talking shit about you behind your back, calling you toxic. That's when you'll lose your friendship because they just don't want to hang around stupid people like you who would put yourself in danger expecting your friend to come to your rescue. You're a waste of their time and are ultimately putting them in danger too. So be smart. Which leads me to my second point. You need to improve on your communications with others. Because if you lack communication skills, you will end up making enemies. You want to make friends and allies so that you can align yourself with people who can help you with your survival. We thrive by networking with each other and sharing resources intellectually, materialistically and biologically. I say biologically because if your tribe has no kin, no next generation to prolong your lineage, then all the hard work you put into building your castle, your business, your family will be put to waste. Unless you put your trust in someone outside your flesh and blood to take over the tribe, then they will continue your work and you will become a legend where they will speak about you, study you, like Aristotle and all these motherfucking philosophers. Anyway, that's out of the point. So it's important to improve your communication skills so that you can expand your social circle and ultimately create a network of people who can contribute to your life. Because it's their contribution that will help you on your journey to survival. They may have a useful skill that you are lacking in your life. I may not be the best person who can cook food, but someone in my tribe is. Therefore, with their help, I will be able to eat. On the contrary, that person may not be physically capable of hunting and bringing the food home, but I am the one who can help my tribe in that, because I have the physical attributes or money to do so. As a result, we have a thriving family, tribe and network. Improving your communications will also help you get out of altercations with others. When you can facilitate the flow of information, foster transparency, you can then ensure tasks are completed accordingly and effectively. So to conclude, understand this. We live in a society. However, the world outside is nothing but a jungle covered in concrete. It is important to embrace our primal attributes, which is to survive. To prolong our survival, we need to improve two things. Our physical attributes and our communication skills. Get good at them and you will live a prosperous life. If you learned something of value, I'd appreciate you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Be the best and fuck the rest.